Now, I normally don't do these current kind of reviews, but a friend of mine has been begging me to do this because his friend Harrison actually plays one of the main characters in the show. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. there guys so last Friday was the release of the new Netflix show Irregulars and for me and most people this was really under the radar because it came out the same day as the highly anticipated superhero animated adult show Invincible on Amazon Prime which is great by the way I highly recommend that but thanks to word of mouth it's gaining popularity now so I remember watching the teaser trailer and honestly it had that kind of CBBC vibe it was kind of like Sarah Jane Adventures meets MI High but then I watched the actual trailer and it was more serious and mature than I thought it would be. It looks like something you would find on BBC One on a Saturday night, like with shows like Robin Hood or Merlin like 10 years ago. But after watching it, it's something you would find on BBC Three if that channel was still around. Is it around or is that hiding somewhere? Because it's more gruesome than I actually thought. So here's a brief summary of the show. So it's set in Victoria, London. You have the gang of these teens who are homeless, but they go out and solve supernatural crimes hired by the sinister Dr. Watson because Sherlock Holmes is absent. So on paper, it sounds like Sherlock Holmes meets Stranger Things, but it's nowhere on the same level as that. I mean, everything about the show is decent enough, whether it's characters, world building, direction. The only thing that really exceeded my expectations was production and set designs. I had a reasonable time watching the show, even though I feel like I'm the wrong demographic for it. This is a show more towards older teens, and I feel like the show doesn't know what it wants to be. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a fantasy, but it doesn't quite nail that because it wants to be so much more. It took me a while to appreciate the characters because the show doesn't explore them all that much in the first few episodes, but once you get past that and you understand the characters, the mystery and the story, there's more fun than you realised. and. Not all characters got all that much focus, but the ones that really stood out for me is Harrison Ottersfield and Thaddea Graham. The show itself does an interesting spin on the Sherlock Holmes lore, but at the forefront you have these young adult teens, and compared to other TV and movie incarnations, in this Sherlock Holmes isn't a perfect character. He's vulnerable, we see him break down in this and make easy mistakes, and Dr. Watson is a really dark character. Overall, Irregulars will certainly have its fan base. If you've seen three or four shows like this, you're not going to be surprised. But if you're new to this kind of territory, you're going to enjoy it more than others. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not the most binge-worthy show, but it sets up enough for future seasons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, go like, share and subscribe. Let me know, what did you think of the Irregulars? Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.